Today, we are building something very interesting. We are building a neural machine translation which will translate English words to French words. And we will use TensorFlow for our model. Stay tuned and watch the full video. Hola amigos, this is Somvir and welcome to my channel Mechanic Dude. We are trying to learn about NLP in our video series. In our last video, we built a model which can perform mathematical operations such as sum on integers. The link for the video is always available in the description and in the cards. In this video, we are going to use some concepts that we used in the last video and we will try to create a neural translation model. We will take help of TensorFlow and Keras library for building our model. So without wasting any time, let's have a quick look at the video. So guys, today in this model, we will try to understand how neural machine translation works and we will be translating French into English. This is the basic procedure of how Google translates the sentences from one language to another. In the last video, we tried to calculate the sum of two integers using the neural networks and LSTM layer. From that video, we know the basic terminologies that will be useful in this model also, such as what is sequence to sequence modeling and what is many to many model in the sequence to sequence modeling. We also know how encoder decoder architecture works for neural networks. Encoder encodes the data, provides a thought vector which will be input for decoder, and the final output will be taken from decoder. So, there is something new which we will learn in this model that will be teacher forcing. It is an advancement in RNN method where we use back propagation into the models. So, in this model, the previous output of a time step along with the state values will be provided as input to the next time step and this procedure will go on until we get our output so for example we have a sentence i love cats first of all we will add two tokens one at the start and one at the end the tokens will be start and end to explain the model that the sentence starts with start token and ends with end token final sentence will be i love cats with start and end tokens so first we will provide the input as start and we will predict i then start and i will be provided as input and love will be predicted from the model and so on until we get the end token once end token is received that marks the end of sentence and the model stops there this is known as teacher forcing there are other methods of training the translation model such as beam search attention model greedy search etc understanding the encoder decoder workflow in our neural machine translation we must know the basics of lstm first lstm provides three outputs output that will be used in the next layer one hidden state and one cell state so how encoder decoder will work in our model first in encoder model we provide the inputs for our english sentence as we know that state and output will be provided from LSTM layer, so we will discard the output and we will only get the states from encoder LSTM because the states contains all the value of the previous inputs in LSTM that will be sufficient for us to provide input to the decoder. These final states of LSTM output will be used to initialize the decoder LSTM. Also, with this, we will need to give start token to the decoder so that decoder knows the start of the sentence. The decoder will then use the start token and the output states of encoder LSTM as input and provide the first word. Then from the first time step of decoder LSTM, we will get state, decoder state and the first word. In the second time step, this decoder states and the decoder output will be used as input and so on until we get the output not number two there will be two stages of this model in the first stage we will initialize a model that will be used for training purpose we will provide the english words french words and the output vocab from which the model will predict the french word in the second model will be known as inference mode where we will initialize the model to take english words in encoder and take out outputs from the decoder so we perform some basic steps such as uh, mounting our drive so that we can fetch our data and we on only use 8000 words. I am using 8000 because of the memory constraint. Now we will apply some basic functions to pre-process our data. We will convert them into lowercase 
we remove apostrophe, we substitute comma with word comma, we remove all the punctuations, we remove all the digits and once we are done with the pre-processing we will get the data something like this. As I informed you that we will need to apply start and end tokens in the French word so that the decoder will know the start and end of sentences. We collect all the English words and French words in a set. We get the maximum input length or the maximum length of a sentence in English words as well as in French words so that we can pad the sequences accordingly. Also, I tried this procedure various times using the tokenization process. I failed to create the model successfully using the tokenization. If you have any inputs for me so that I can understand how to uh, complete it with tokenization process, please let me know in the comment section below. So going forward, we make a list of all the input and output words using sorted and using list. We now get how many tokens or words are present in our vocabulary. Moving forward, we know that words cannot be provided as input to the model so we create a dictionary where each word will have an index so that these indexes will be used to uh, create sequences as well as provide them as input to the model. Moving on to the next step, we will need to create three arrays. The first one will hold the padded input sequences. As we can see, the number of samples is 8000 and the length we calculated earlier is 5. So all the sequences in the input will be of length 5. If it is less than 5, it will be padded with 0. Same with the decoder input are basically the data we have with us as English words and French words. Here we are initializing decoder target data and this will hold the one hot encoded output data which is French. We are one hot encoding the output because the dense layer in the model will be able to provide only one output at a time. The target data will look something like 8012, 3987, 8000 number of samples, 12 is the length of output sequence, 3987 is the number of vocab we have in our output. So once we initialize the input output arrays, we provide all the data from lines.english and lines.french into input and output. One very important thing here is, as we discussed, we will provide the start token manually to the model so we will not include the start token so the target data will be ahead of decoder input data with one time step so this line of code will do the same and one hot encode the output data if we have a look at the input output and target data we can see if i input sentence as one word all the remaining will be zero same with the decoder input, if we have two words, all the remaining will have zeros. And the decoder target data is one word encoded. Now we start creating our model. There are some hyperparameters we need to initialize. So first we are building our model for the training stage. In the training stage, while building encoder model, we provide encoder inputs. We provide an embedding layer. We provide one LSTM. As we can see here, there will be three outputs encoder output state h and state c so we will be discarding the encoder output and we will keep the encoder states now coming on to the decoder model we provide decoder inputs we provide embedding layer and we provide lstm here we are also keeping return sequences and return state is equal to true which is very essential here we are only keeping the outputs and discarding the state values while taking decoder outputs from lstm we provide the initial state as encoder states which we just calculated. We pass this through the dense layer with activation softmax as we are doing categorical classification. Then we initialize our model with encoder inputs and decoder inputs as our input. Using these inputs, the model should be able to predict the decoder output. We compile our model with RMS prop optimizer, which is convenient for our case. We provide categorical cross entropy as loss and accuracy as metrics. If we look at the summary of model, we can see that we have around 3 million parameters for training. So input data here will be encoder input data, decoder input data and output will be decoder target data. So we one hot encoded the target data that will be used here. We provide a batch size of 64, we run it for 30 epochs and we provide a validation split of 0 0.10. These hyperparameters such as epochs, batch size and the embedding dimensionality, LSTM hidden layers that are all tunable and we can tune it them according to ourselves to get the best possible result. These are the best values which I can tune them up to. So running them for 30 epochs, I get the validity accuracy of 
just 19%. This is not very up to mark, it is very low, but still for learning process, it is quite good as we will know the working of our translation model. So we come on to our inference stage where we make some changes to the encoder and decoder model. So encoder model will look something like this where we will provide encoder inputs and we will get encoder state. In inference mode, in our decoder model, we initialize the state inputs H and C for our decoder. Then we provide embedding. Then we take output state H and state C and we provide the initial state as decoder state inputs we just defined. Finally, passing them through the decoder dense, we will get the decoder outputs. So defining the model, it will look something like this. In the input, we will give the decoder input and decoder state inputs. Now we will get the output in integers and we have word to index dictionary. So we need to reverse them to get words from our index. Now we are ready to write a function that will be used to translate our word. First of all, we use the encoder model to get the encoder state. As we are getting one output at the timestamp, so we are providing one by one array with the start token, initializing the stop condition as false, running it until the sentence ends. We will use the decoder model to get the output tokens states H and C while giving the input as target C sequence from here and the state values which we got from the encoder model. Using this output token, we'll use the argmax to get the index and using this index we can get the word. We will add this word to the decoded sentence then we will check for the stop condition. If the predicted word has end token then we will stop the process right here or we will continue. If the predicted word is the end token then we make the stop condition as true and move on to the next step again for the next loop we initialize the target sequence of one by one matrix with the sample token index we just received and we reinitialize the state values at h and c that are received from the decoder model we finally we return the decoded sentence so finally testing our model we can provide a sample of sequences and test the output as we can see here we are not getting very good results as it is only providing as with 20% accuracy but as we can see our model works and if we tune the hyperparameters a little bit use some more data we can get good results as we can see here is Tom well at least it is predicting Tom correctly so there is a good scope for this so with this our neural machine translation using encoder decoder completes here so that was the video guys we are now able to translate English into French we will try to take it one step further and let's see if we can create a chatbot of our own using the concepts of NLP. Please like the video if you think my video was informational. Comment if you have any comments for me. Please support me by subscribing to my YouTube channel as well as my Instagram and Facebook handles. We'll meet in the next video. Until then, adios.